Hello friends, today we will see how to create a cube animation using Cinema 4D. So let's jump in and get started. We will start by creating a cube object. So let's click cube, set the size to 10 in X, 10 in Y, and 10 in Z. Also click on fillet and set the radius to 1. Go to more graph, click cloner, make cube as the child of the cloner object. Select cloner, go to mode, and choose grid array. Under count, for X add 40, for Y add 1, and for Z add 40 again. This gives you a good cube-like shape. In the size, we will add 400 cm in X, 0 in Y, and 400 cm again in Z axis. Go to MoGraph. Click on more text and you can choose any random text. I'm adding just a letter C and making a depth of 10 cm. Uh, it actually does not matter but at this stage I'm letting it that. Right click and make editable the more text. Right click, choose select children. Right click again and choose connect object plus delete. This will make it a standalone object. Choose the rotate tool. Holding shift will allow you to change it by 10 degrees increment. I'm rotating it by minus 90. And then I'll push it under the cube object, which is a set of the cloner objects. Select cloner, go to MoGraph effector and choose volume. Under the volume object, select the more text one and drag it there and instantly we see if something has changed. Let's zoom in and adjust the placement of the more text object. Uh, let's go to volume, again, parameters, switch off scale, go directly to rotation, and let's put some values here. Let's try 50, 45, and 90. Probably let's uh, add a 90, 45, and 50. Yeah, I like this shape better. Let's go to cloner object, go to transform and let's make it a little darker. I'll probably choose the V value as 10%. Um, this gives us a good, nice, rich black shade. Uh, we will probably change the volume, go to color mode, go to user defined, click on use alpha strength and make sure here that we have selected the white color. Let's go to MoGraph Effector and click Random Effector. Make sure the cloner object was selected first before you even go back to MoGraph Effector. Under Random, uh, just click on Rotation and uncheck Position and Scale. And here we'll see our volume was 90, 45, 50. We simply just place a reverse value of 50, 45 and 90. Let's go to Fall Off. Under Shape, we use Box. What box allows it is to constrain the shape uh, of the fall off in a certain area only. Using the front view, uh, I'm going to align the box, uh, making sure it lies uh, in center with volume and the more text. I'm just increasing the size to 110 in both X and Z. Um, you can keep any value based on how much of uh, box strength you like, uh, rather box size you like. Um, now let's drag uh, volume and random and make it a child object for more text. I'm selecting the more text object and bringing it a little bit down so in my final render viewport um, I see it in the right shape. Let's select the cloner object, go to object and increase the size to 500 uh, in both X and Z. Uh, don't forget to increase the cell count as well, otherwise you will see gaps. Uh, I'm making it increment of 10, 50 and 50. This looks a little more dense and this gives me room to play with uh, actual the content what I can see on the screen. Let's go back to more text, select it, drag it outside 
and let's focus on the top left hand side of the screen uh, where we will probably uh, see the animation beginning it. I'm making the frame count as 300 frames, expanding the slider so it covers all 300 frames. On the frame 1, I add a keyframe which is a position keyframe. I have to bring the marker back to 300 which I forgot. So let's do that again. Okay, this seems to be in the right place. Let's click and add a position keyframe again. One of the things that we need to do is right click on these keyframes and make sure the interpolation is to linear. I'll do the same on the first keyframe and make the interpolation linear as well. That being said, uh, this is how a uh, simple cube animation looks like in Cinema 4D. Run this animation seems perfectly well. Probably we'll just need to set up the export settings and save settings. Let's go to render settings and choose full HD making it all frames and I'm adding ambient occlusion under the effects. I'm saving the file at the desktop I already had one file which was a demo so I'm replacing it saying yes. I'm choosing the format as mp4 and unchecking sound because there's no sound in this. Output, yes everything seems right and just hit render in preview mode window. And that's it friends. This is how you create a simple cube animation using Cinema 4D. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and keep watching.